Okay, sorry folks, we had a technical difficulty. So it looks like the iPad has too much of a lag on it. So we're back to the cell phone. Um, should be a clearer, sharper, ongoing picture, but not quite as wide. So, like I said, I am jealous that all my girlfriends sit with their recipes all day long on their Facebook page. Billy's Best Brownies, Zippy's Best Baked Potatoes, and all of you, I go to your Facebook pages. Well, I'm not the cook, my paleo master, son paleo cook master, he's the cook around here, but I'll tell you, I've got the best diet and the best recipe for fat dogs. And we all have fat dogs. And this actually is a diet that you can maintain a show condition dog in, which is important because the high fats and the gloss, gloss on their coat and the muscle tone and all that good stuff. So this goes from your spayed, neutered house pet all the way into the ring with a show dog, any dog that just tends to get heavy. Springers like to eat, springers like to be full. And nothing is more obnoxious to live with than a springer that's getting a half, a, a, what, a half a cup of dry dog food in the morning and a half at night and they're just looking at you like they're living in Bangladesh or some you know concentration camp so this fills them up this gives them so much volume twice a day it's a natural organic way to feed your dog so you don't have to worry about China are importing dog food from China let's not do that again all right so what I have here are the ingredients now let me point out that this is my COVID ready cut green bean supply. And I have about six of these in the back room. So I am a true survival, survival person, right? That along with all the ammo, my ammo boxes are back there. So that's what that is. But for everyday purposes, just your regular low sodium cut green beans, you can, green beans, French style, whatever you can get a hold of, fast track, probiotics that's really a must because a lot of dogs get gassy and you're gonna have dog farts all day long with the green beans some it doesn't bother some of them but some of them it does so fast track they should be on a probiotic anyway you're gonna want a very good canned meat or make your own meat but this is a product that was recommended to me I alternate between the beef and the chicken of sometimes the liver this particular brand you get on Amazon by the case comes right to your door you you um, uncover it outside you throw away the box outside you wipe down the wrapping it comes in with a little bit of alcohol or antiseptic you bring it inside you're good to go might be the way we have to live from now on who knows um, this product if you don't know about it you should new vet plus and joint plus this is your standard chondroitin and glucosamine for hips and joints I swear by this stuff I had a puppy fall off a second floor balcony she was about three or four months old rushed her to the vet she had a cracked hip right through the hip bone um, I couldn't get an OFA on her but I had her hips done of course I couldn't send it in because one hip was cracked the other hip was good okay but I put her on this immediately and for her entire life I hunted her, she was a show dog, I hunted her pretty much till the day she died. She never limped, she never had arthritis, she never got swollen. This thing is fabulous. And of course your new Vet Plus is a must, I feel, for all dogs, for all reasons, but particularly show dogs and hunting dogs. Dogs that you wanna keep in tip top tone, condition, glossy coats, this is the one. Now. I can do my shout out. Is that what they call it, Patrick? A shout out. If you go to the New Vet Plus website and use the order code 46177, and that will connect you actually to my product base with them, and you will get 15% off every time you order from them. So there is my shout out for New Vet Plus. Okay, so um, I've got a very busy schedule. So I find it really hard at night after a big day, I'm exhausted. The last thing I really wanna do is like make a whole meal for my dogs when I've got a TV dinner going in the microwave for myself or maybe sometimes nothing. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the fast, easy way to make this wonderful diet. 
for the dogs. You can buy these again on Amazon Prime. They're Ziplocs. They come in a four pack for like $2 on Prime Pantry. Greatest things in the world. So we're gonna open these up over here. I'm gonna start with my green beans. You're gonna be amazed how much food I feed these dogs twice a day. And honestly, I could not eat this much food twice a day myself. I've looked at it and gone, first of all, I should probably put myself on this diet. I mean, I really should. Maybe now I will. Okay, weigh myself every morning with you guys watching as I eat the same things my dogs eat. I think I'll skip the canned dog food and maybe just go for a real cooked chicken or fish or something. All right, so essentially what I'm doing here is I'm making their meals for the entire day. Breakfast and, okay, over to the sink. So when I say a half a can of green beans, that is after you drain them. No, I do not want all that stuff going into the dog food with them. No. Well, let's just drain those little suckers off there right there. All right, so. Okay, so we got all that gone. Trash can. Okay, apples. So, the recipe is a half a can of green beans, a half a can of meat, one half apple, two slices of cooked sweet potatoes, and then depending on the weight of your dog, they can get white potato, or they can actually get soaked dry dog food. Um, Troy has an allergy to grains, and I have never found any dry dog food that suits her where she doesn't get the scratchy diggies. All right, so there's my one apple. Here's my other apple. So I just, to keep her body weight, I look at her every day. I look over top of her like an airplane, and if her body weight is good, then she gets one medium-sized potato, which is getting a little thinner. The white potato is where we'll put the weight on them. That's what I'm trying to say here. None of these other things are going to put weight on them. So, boys and girls out there watching, you might think about eating some of these things. If you want to go on a diet with your dog, these are dessert. So we'll go into that later. Okay, so it looks like I'm ready. So, here is my morning cup. These happen to be French cut for no reason other than the fact that there wasn't regular cut green beans at the store. So, half a can, half a can, half a can, half a can. Now, honestly, if I wasn't talking and doing this filming, I think I have time myself. I think I've been able to make breakfast and dinner for two dogs, even three in three minutes for the whole day. I mean, like, how cool is that? Three minutes and you're done. You put these in the container, so when you come home at night, all you do, obviously, is pop them out and throw them in the... Here's my sweet potato. So, that's about a one-inch slice. So. Mm -hmm. Sweet potatoes come in all sizes, so just kind of doohickey around with it. Now, this is Troy. I cannot give her dry food, like I said. So that, to me, that was a medium-sized potato. There. And then Kira can have food. So this is soaked. It certainly helps with bloating. Springers tend to bloat, right? And it also just gives more volume to what they're eating so they feel fuller after they've eaten it. And in the summer, I feel like it dehydrates them less because you give a dog dry food in the summer, it goes into their stomach, swells up because it is gonna swell up. So this is like pre-digested in a way. We all start our puppies on soaked dry dog food. So, right, don't need to go anymore with that. Okay, so that's it. Every single dog 
Okay. They each for their adult size, they get two of these. These are fairly inexpensive too. You wouldn't be really surprised for what you get from this product. They get one a day. I only have to do this once a day, not twice. Here's your probiotic. I mean, don't go crazy. Just shake, 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 shake. Now, I don't know if you guys have had this before or if you've ever used brown sugar in your cooking, girls. Okay, I'm Pennsylvania Dutch. And during the Civil War, the soldiers, the Confederate soldiers, came up to the north and they would write all these letters back home going, oh my God, ma, pa. You know, we're in an area of the country where they have brown sugar and red eggs. And yes, that's the Pennsylvania Germans, the Pennsylvania Dutch. We have brown sugar and we have red beet eggs. They'd never seen it before, so that was fabulous. If you've ever used brown sugar, you will know. The minute you open it, you put it away, a week later, it's rock solid hard. Well, let me give you a clue. Put it in a plastic Ziploc bag, twirl the bag to where you have the air out, and then put it in a second bag, and then you can even put it in, um, you know, a screw top, what big screw top container, and it will stay soft for 10 years in your pantry. Same thing with this. If you do not do that with this product, in about a week, you're gonna open it up and it's going to be a rock. And you're gonna go, oh, I hate this thing. So by just putting this plastic <coughs> over top of it, I've had this for four months and it's still perfect. This is distilled aloe. And again, I get it off of Amazon. I don't know, $15 a gallon, it lasts forever. I got the container off of Amazon, Amazon loves me. So we're gonna go squirt, squirt. I got this from a bulldog breeder. Could you imagine trying to get into a bulldog or a pug's mouth with a dental tool to scrape the tartar off their teeth for at home care? Or even a toy breed? I mean, I mean, really. I, I've tried to scrape toy breed pets that I've had and like their teeth fall out if they're really bad. So what this done, uh, honestly, if you do this every day, once a day for your dogs, you won't have any tartar build up and the teeth will stay like bright and shiny. So this is a fabulous, fabulous thing to do. Kira is an old girl. So she tends to have, she tends to have old lady problems with her urine. So this is Proin, she gets that twice a day, and now she doesn't wet the bed when she sleeps at night. Last but not least, Omega Fish Oils are a plus. This is a must for any, any dog, all dogs, all breeds, pets, but you have to have this if you're show conditioning your springer. If your bitches are pregnant, these dogs have to have these omega fish oils. So if you go to, um, where's the place we go? The drugstore that we, we use. Anyway, they always have buy one, get one free. So you get this great big container, then another one, Walgreens. Duh. Walgreens. Buy one, get one free. You can't beat the prices at Walgreens anywhere. So that's where I get that product. Well, now, look how much food is in there. It's huge. See, they get fed this twice a day. Twice a day. I mean, that's heavy. There's a lot of bulk to it. There's a lot of really good yummy stuff in there. This is for tonight. When I get home. Oh, I forgot my potato. All right. So here's the medium-sized white potato for Troy over here. Okay, so now here's Karen Trell. They'll go in the refrigerator when I'm done with my day and I'm pooped out and I'm tired. Done. Done, done, done. Before I take these crazy dogs in there, let me show you a fun thing about these potatoes. Okay, so here you've got your potatoes. I get these from Aldi's. They're like $5 for a 10 pound bag. They're wonderful. I've been dumping them in the sink and soaking them in Dawn for 20 minutes and then scrubbing them. COVID alert, COVID alert, COVID alert. Since that's what we're supposed to be doing with all these produce. I would I always soak them anyway, but now I'm just more careful about it. So trash can right here. 
Can they see this trash can, Patrick? No. Can they see it? Yep. Coolest trash can in the world. Look, it's got a doggy lock on it. And if you see all the doggy marks here, we're where Troy has tried to get into the trash can. Troy and Lizzie do this, and they can't get in. So I got this at Bed Bath & Beyond, and it is just super, super, super cool. So there's that. Now, what is this? This is called a potato bag. You can pick them up anywhere, any kitchen store. I get a three-pack off of Amazon. Right. Um, I like these plushier ones. They cook easier. So you take your clean, dry potato. You don't have to fork it. Just take it. Put one into the pocket. Over here to your microwave. In the center. I think that baby's going to go for about four minutes. So when I'm just out here watching TV and doodling around, I just do a whole bunch of potatoes all at once. I put them in storage containers, and they go in, ref in the refrigerator for a whole week. I'll usually nuke a whole week's worth of whites and sweet potatoes, and then they're in the refrigerator. I don't even have to think about it for the rest of the week. When I'm out at Patrick's apartment in Pittsburgh, I usually line one of his great big cooking things, two or three of them, and I stick them in the oven for an hour and do all 10 pounds. But I don't have an oven here. I only have a microwave. Okay. Another little trick. If you have a dog that does not take pills easily. Most show dogs do, but Troy never liked the show ring. She was my hunter. She was hunting, geez, when she was three months old. So I take peanut butter. Troy, can you see? And just let her eat it off the spoon, and we're done. I mean, no muss, no fuss, no trying to open up their mouths and shove it down their throats and all that good stuff. So I am ready. So that's tonight. Here's today. Okay, come on, wackadoodles. Come on, Patrick will follow us. Okay, I have, my entire life I have fed dogs in crates. Um, I mean, for a million reasons why. Number one, if you have a show dog, let's just get them used to traveling and being that way. The other reason is she eats 10 times faster than Kira. And if you have one dog that eats really, really fast, what happens? They finish their food and behind your back, they sneak over and push the slow guy away and they finish that one's food. I mean, every time one of my pet people bring two dogs in, one's skinny, one's fat, this is the story. So I have to explain, if you don't have crates, then put one in one room, one in the other. Oh, but they don't finish their meal. Then pick it up, put it in the refrigerator, and put it away. They can eat it later, but don't let the fat one eat both meals, please. All right, this is easy, because that's Troy's. She gets the white potato. She'll have that down like in a minute. Kira eats more normally, but Kira's always been more normal than Troy. So, you know, if I have dogs staying overnight with me, they just go in the extra crates, and all my dogs know that this is how they're fed. I leave the doors open so that they can go in and out during the day if they want to sleep, but they know that that's where they get fed. So, let's go back out and check our potato. Alright, you never know how long four minutes is until you've got a camera going. Yeah, it's going to be that full four minutes. Because I have to show you a trick when you're doing this, especially if you want to microwave like an entire week's worth of um, potatoes. There's a right way and a wrong way and you can kill your, your microwave if you're not careful. Like I said, these will go in the refrigerator. This will come out when we have the total non-supply chain. We can no longer get green beans. What's with green beans? Green beans and toilet paper. You go to the store, they don't have green beans. Right. So, I don't know what people are doing. 
I did order my very first can of Spam in my entire life. I just ordered it off of Amazon. And I've been told that they can last 20 years. So I have one can of Spam coming because I'm just curious. Now, when you take this out of there, it is extremely hot. The bag is hot, the potato is hot. So, I put this bag up here. I leave the door open. I can do two, two potatoes back to back, four minutes for about a potato that size. But then I have to stop. This bag has to be cool, and you have to let your microwave cool off because this glass will continue to get so hot if you do 10 potatoes in a row, you're gonna crack the glass, the microwave's um, going to get broken. And I'm not gonna tell you how I know that. Um, I saw it on YouTube, but trust me, don't do it. So after I've done two, I will leave the door of this microwave open, the two bags up here to go cold. This bag is now going cold. Don't reuse the same bag. Don't put a cold potato in a hot potato bag. This is already now room temperature. It doesn't take long. So get yourself a three pack and do it that way. Okay, guys, where are you? Try, Kira. Come on, try. Okay. So these are those big, ugly, I call them horse carrots. My sister and I actually grew up with horses, not dogs. Um, and we had horses, we owned horses at the stable, and we both rode English Satter, English Saddle, open, open jumpers, hunting jumper horses. So I guess I went from hunting my horses to hunting my dogs. Um, interesting note, my sister was actually scouted out by the U.S. Olympic team to be a rider on the U.S. Olympic team. So kudos to Kathy, a lot of people don't know that, but she was an excellent, excellent horse rider. She put more time in than I did. I heard that I had a very good seat, but I really didn't like to jump things more than five foot, and she, would, she was fearless. She would go over anything. So this is their dessert, and they each get a full carrot. And again, for your fat dogs, feed them carrots. They will, they will, um, they will eat the apples, too. Film the dogs eating the carrots. Um, they'll eat apples, too. They love apples. You cannot feed dogs grapes. There's something in grapes that actually is almost like a poison to them. Don't feed them grapes. But you can feed them apples. They love their apples. Carrots. And these big ones. Forget those little namby-pamby baby things. Jeez me, peas me. You know, these dogs want something like big, like a... Like, like a toy, like a bone you would get from the White Bone Company. So give them these great, big, ugly, heavy horse carrots is what I call them. And um, they get one after every meal. That's their dessert. And throughout the day, I would usually throw them a carrot. You can get huge bags of these carrots, three bucks a giant. No, those I do not get at Amazon. Okay, so my containers are ready to go away now. Here's the downside of being, of having a lockdown in Pennsylvania when your kind son has come from Pittsburgh to take care of his ailing mother in York, Pennsylvania. And he's a cook. He cooks everything from scratch. He has a 12 quart crock pot that he has to start tomorrow to do two different kinds of soups that he will then put in a million of these and then freeze them and defrost them and eat them all day long. He does chili, he does vegetable soups, I don't know all. But, so, you know, he went shopping for the last two days, so this is what I have to live with my, with my refrigerator. So, it looks like I've got a little bit of room here. Put those, so that is their next meal. And then here's my white potatoes, here's my sweet potatoes. I keep it on this little tray. Carrots are very important to understand carrots. Because people say, oh, I've done carrots and they rot. Yeah, they'll rot. They'll rot in your refrigerator too. So what you want to do is get any kind of container like this. It could be steel or plastic, doesn't matter. You want to put paper towels at the bottom. 
and then what I normally do is I'll put a layer of carrots and then paper towels. Another layer, it's like a lasagna. So you do a layer of carrots, paper towel, layer of carrots, paper towel, layer of carrots, paper towel. And then the ones that you're using are just out in the open, they're on top. Um, I can keep this like this for two weeks as long as I have it open in the refrigerator and layered with paper towels. I didn't do the layers because as you can see, Patrick came home with a lot of groceries. So I really didn't have time to be that picky when I was putting them away. The other thing is your apples. Okay, you're gonna, these apples, I just get the cheapest ones for the dogs, but they're good, they're nice apples, red, delicious. Um, if you keep them refrigerated, they'll last, oh God, forever. They'll last a really long time. If you leave them out the counter, they're just gonna spoil really, really easily. So there's that. And of course, now that the dogs are fed, it's my turn. Okay guys, I'll see you in an hour and we'll see if we can find something to talk about. Um, send me messages, your private Facebook messages, or just put a comment on my screen, on my Facebook screen, if there's something that's happened over the past two or three days that you might like me to talk about, that we can talk about together. Um, that would be nice. I know some of you are silent people out there that do not like to reveal yourself to the world. So this is why you put brownie recipes on your Facebook pages. So just send me a private message as to what you'd like to talk about today. And I'll see you back in one hour after I've had my way with this bottle for a while. Bye.